If you're building an app that includes a lot of video, you might have run into some different frustrations with the included uh, video element from Bubble. For example, you can only play videos that are from YouTube or Vimeo. You can't play any videos that have been uploaded directly to your database. And of course, you can't style the video player editor either. So you only get this typical YouTube style video element here. Later in this video, I'm going to show you how you can play videos that users have uploaded to your app, like in the example here. We'll also go through how you might use this functionality in a video-based learning platform. So you might consider building something that's similar to YouTube or TikTok, of course, including a lot of different videos in your app. Maybe you have a learning platform where you have instructors or teachers uh, who want to upload different video content, uh, similar to this example here. Uh, what you're going to have to do is add in all of your videos to your database, and then you can dynamically have users click on the different videos and see the specific lessons in each video. First, let's take a look at how the built-in video player for Bubble works. You're going to find it under video in your visual elements here. You can click and drag that onto the page. And then you'll see that you do have the option for either YouTube or Vimeo uh, options here. So we're going to go find a YouTube video. And for the player here, what you need is the YouTube ID. So if you click on the share button, you'll be able to see the YouTube ID right after the final slash there. Um, it's this code. Uh, with some letters and some numbers in there. Once you have your ID pasted in there, you can go ahead and see that the new YouTube video does in fact appear. However, if we do want to take a look at the options for styling, um, you'll notice that it does have the typical YouTube interface and there aren't uh, very many options in here for styling uh, the appearance of your video. Um, as well, you're not able to play videos that have been directly uploaded to your database. Next, what we're going to do is upload a video to our database so that we can use the Universal Player plugin. So if we head on over to our database here, we have this data type of video um, where we can add a thumbnail, uh, optionally a URL, or the actual video file itself. So if we create a new data entry here, uh, we'll go new entry, and then we can upload the video just like so. Of course, if you'd rather have your users upload the video to your database, you can use the file uploader element as well. And then what we're going to do is we're going to head on over to our plugins and you're going to need the universal video player plugin. It comes with a whole bunch of different options for you to be able to extract data, uh, track how long people have watched the video, what they've done on the video, things of that nature, which is really helpful, especially if you are building some sort of a learning management system or a course. App. It of course comes with a bunch of documentation here, which you can see all the different use cases for it, as well as a demo app for you to check out again the different use cases and see exactly how each of these features are built. So what we're going to do now is we're going to add the media player element to our page where we want our video to go. And then from there, we can choose uh, what type of video we would like to add uh, with a dynamic link here. Um, so what we're going to do is just search for videos. And then we're just going to pick the first one in there, use the video URL. And then similarly for the thumbnail, we are going to search for videos, first item, and this time we're going to use the thumbnail URL. And then if you do want to change the look and feel of the video player, you can do that here as well. It comes with a few different options or you can do a custom option too. So let's take a look and all right, so you can see we have the custom thumbnail in there and of course we can hit play and control the, the different um, elements of the video. All right, let's say for example, we're building out a course and we want to have a dynamic option for our courses. Um, what I've created here is just a course page and then the type of content on this page is going to be videos. And then what we can do in our video player, we can change it to be a dynamic video. So this is going to go with the current pages video, then the video itself we uploaded, and then the URL. Similarly, for the dynamic thumbnail, what we can do is the current pages video, thumbnail, URL, and we can change that skin to whichever one we wanted to go with previously. So we can take a look at exactly what this lesson will look like by going to our main course page and then clicking on the specific lesson. This will dynamically load in the correct content for us and we can preview the page. 
That's it for this video. If you have any questions, can you let us know in the comment section below?